guys, welcome uh, to another one of my videos. It's been a while, I know. And, uh, but I keep getting this time and time again on different posts, on, on different social media and forums. And everybody th tends, seems to think that rock wool soundproofs or that acoustic treatment is soundproofing and it's not. Even if you filled, if you had a room and you filled it full of rock wool and stood in the middle and you played an instrument at say 120 decibels outside, it, you'd still get, if the walls weren't contributing anything, it would only attenuate 6 dB. That's physics. Uh, that's the way absorption works. Max absorption is cutting the sound in half. So by by, sound, uh, by treating a room, putting treatment in a room, does benefit the, the sound going out, and it attenuates somewhat the sound coming in because it's bi-directional. It doesn't soundproof. And there's no way to test the soundproofing of, of um, porous elements by themselves, okay? If someone says, well, uh, uh, you know, uh, Rockwell gives you an STC of whatever, I, I'm, I'm curious, where, where did they get those figures? Where did they get that idea? There's no testing data on it because it's impossible to test. You, in, a, uh, in a testing facility, they have um, basically echo chambers, two, cup, two chambers coupled to each other, one with a speaker in it and one with a microphone in it. And they, put, they have a test wall, they move in, and they'll put the product to be tested. Say it's a wall assembly and it's so big, you know, by so big. There's specifications in ASTM for that. Um, and uh, they are rather large samples, okay? And to be consistent, they have to be a certain sample size. So say they, they built a whole wall of rock wool. That's all it was is rock wool, and they tested it. I guarantee you it'd probably be a 6 dB difference, if that, maybe less, much less, because it's only a thin part. It just doesn't do much, okay? What rock wool and fiberglass and rigid fiberglass and that sort of thing, the absorption, porous absorption material, foam, whatever, what that does in a wall cavity, if you're soundproofing, it will absorb the resonances within those walls, between the panels, okay? And you can calculate the distance between the panels and that'll tell you the resonance of that air in there, okay? and you want to absorb that resonance. That resonance is never higher than what? I mean, never lower than, oh, I don't know, 500 hertz. Never. Uh, you just need to fill it with fiber. And uh, testing has shown, you can look at IR761 uh, that was put out by the Canadian Research Council. They spent millions of dollars in acoustics testing to find out what wall assemblies work you know, how they work the best so that they could specify. Anyway, it's wonderful. And all this information is available to us free. I have a copy of that on my website. Uh, download it and go through and you can analyze it yourself. I've gone through and analyzed. You see partitions that are filled with rock wool, partitions are filled with, you know, let's say mineral wool and then lightweight fiberglass and then some with um, the cellulose fiber insulation. And in every, in every case, lightweight fiber class outperforms it. Or at least the, 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 the rock wool or the heavier stuff isn't any better. It's just more expensive. Um, now, uh, the cellulose fiber works, but it doesn't work as well as the lightweight. It's, it shows a dip, and I believe it's because it's couples and also because it settles and it leaves an airspace where there's no insulation. So that's, I don't recommend cellulose fiber in walls. In ceilings, I don't have a problem with it. Um, but don't assume that absorption material has anything at all to do with your soundproofing, your isolation, it doesn't. All it does is absorb the resonances within the cavity. And I recommend that they be filled full that there's no air space. They talk about air gap. Well, the air gap is that from panel to panel. And 
if it's filled with fiberglass or not, it's still an air gap. That's, that's, that's how you should see it. So if you fill it full, as long as it's, nothing's compressed, it's just there, hung nicely. That will improve your soundproofing, your isolation by 6 dB, rather as opposed to empty. And uh, that's really all it does. So don't take your money and put it through a shredder and fill your walls with that. That is like rock wool, okay? Unless you get cheap rock wool. Now, if you got cheap rock wool, you got a bargain, you got to give it to you, use a rock wool. It's great. It, it doesn't hurt. It's just a lot more expensive and it doesn't help you, okay? So that's, that's it for today. And uh, I'll get you another one real soon, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> These videos are hard to do because I'm so busy. Anyway, all the best to all you guys. See you soon. Yeah.